Your excuse to me was gaming makes you forget about stress or work or if you're stressed out, that's your outlet. How could it be this guy's outlet when he's losing a game? You can tell when a gamer is losing a game, everything is like bad. Like you're uh, like you answer like, do you want to eat? No, I'm hungry. Or like you're just mad. So for me, I was like, how is this game helping him when you know when he's even madder when he's losing? Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, ladies and gents, boys and girls, children of all ages, and especially all you gamers, we've got a favorite one for you guys on today's podcast here on the Mr. and Mrs. Eruption Show. Yeah, it's another episode. I'm very excited. I'm more excited. So yeah, so this is basically about me, huh? No, well, is it about... Wait, hold on, hold on. What is today's topic? Yet? Today, actually, we're going to talk about how it is in a relationship, mostly for the wife or the girlfriend of a gamer. Okay, yes. That's... That's what we're going to be discussing today. What, where it started? People think it's easy, huh? Yeah. People think it's I easy. I think it's pretty easy. Really? I play games and you do your own thing. Well, in the beginning, that's <laughs> not how it was. And I'm about to like build the tea on that. No, no. so just a get quick background. When Eric and I started dating or when we were together, we were living in, in a condo with two other roommates. My and, friends, my friends. And you were still at Showtime, right? Oh, uh, yes, I was. And I just moved here from the state. And so in the beginning, I was like, oh, it's just gaming it's let boys be boys you know it's a hobby thing and it's his passion at least he's not out drinking or see isn't that a great thing it was it still is wait, i still don't no, drink no, and wait, I don't for, still, wait for it and until this is oh. what happened i've noticed for like after a month since you and your roommate or our roommates were gamers i remember i wanted to sleep i would always hear this i i, I walked the road of vengeance i didn't even know what kind of game that was until i found out it was han heroes of new earth and also you play Dota. Yes. Yeah. And it was fine in the beginning. Yeah, I was like, okay, I can tolerate this until you got comfortable. So we will no, make- No, but yeah. the thing is you met me like that. So yeah, I met you like that, but your priorities should change. Like you asked me to fly here and then what are you going to do? You're just going to play Dota the whole time? Might as well, I should have just stayed in Seattle and we could have just been long distance relationship while you're playing your Dota and your Han. Exactly, you're, yeah. Yeah, well- Yeah, mm-hmm. Exactly. I, I really don't know because remember, I'm coming from a two-year broken up relationship. I was single and, you know... And you and shouldn't I, have committed in a relationship if you weren't ready. Very good point. Very good point. You're missing something. It's called adjustments. Yeah. I'm, just, I'm adjusting. Wait. I'm adjusting. You were ad okay, you were adjusting and you thought everything was cool and dandy. I was cool and dandy. Until we would make plans. So let's say, oh yeah, okay, let's go to the mall or let's catch a movie after my work. Then you will come home and you will say, oh, just one game. That one game, like what? You get home at around, I don't know, like one or 2 p.m. and then that one game like lasts until 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. our plans would get canceled so your priorities have shifted and it doesn't help that our roommates are your playmates or whatever you call it in your team whatever you call them and I would get so fed up I was there you guys are playing doing your thing and I have nothing to do so what would I do I would cook I would clean the house and you guys would just eat and then go back to your gaming so what was I it's weird how exactly I, no I weird. just said it's weird like how I can actually remember that and it's sad at the same time now you know how but I yeah, feel yeah. I've apologized for that already <clears throat> yeah numerous of times yeah but hey I think the great point of this is after the arguments because guys you know we do fight and it's normal for every we'll relationship go over the fight and everything like that but we did adjust for it you know what I mean yeah we so we'll we'll get to that but the thing is like yeah talk about the fights Eric like I remember exactly there was what one... I was going into no but you're talking about amending it but there was no. a big fight there was a yeah. big fight that happened and I remember, like, I think we were supposed to go somewhere. And you were like, oh, you, your excuse to me was gaming makes you forget about stress or work. Or if you're stressed out, that's your outlet. And then it's it, actually your, almost your outlet, too. No, okay, wait, listen. Don't do that. Don't come back okay, to me. Okay. I'm still trying. Wait, this is the future right yeah. now. Yeah. Okay, so let's stay back no, in the past. exactly. You're two, all over the two, place. 2012. You said that it was my ventilation state. Yes. Right? Like, and everything that like that. That was your we had outlet. An argument, okay? But be 
for me, in my view, as a wife or a girlfriend at that time, how could it be this guy's outlet when he's losing a game? You can tell when a gamer is losing a game, everything is like bad. Like you're uh, like you answer like, do you want to eat? No, I'm hungry. Or like you're just mad. So for me, I was like, how is this game helping him when you know when he's even madder when he's losing? So for me, at that standpoint, I didn't understand it. I didn't get it. Right? It's like how could it be helping you when it's and I remember that one big fight because you were losing and I was like Eric let's go and I'm impatient because I've had enough basically and you were like I said fine I'm gonna leave I remember saying that I'm gonna go I'm gonna leave I'm gonna pack my stuff and go to Quezon City and you were like fine go whatever bye you didn't care you did not care you just said go I was in game exactly <laughs> <laughs> you would ditch your relationship for a game right. and it and happens only, a lot only gamers would understand that. exactly you guys are immersed on the game but then there's this whole other the world going on around you yeah, which yeah. is the reality mm -hmm. <laughs> real world not this online thing but that i remember that was it i wasn't really about you know against gaming but it was more of priorities throwing out the door and how you were handling your losses <laughs> Hindi ako makapagsalita ngayon ah. Uh, oh, exactly. <laughs> but you know, no, what she said is 100% uh, truth. And and only gamers can really truly relate to this. Uh, when you're in the zone, you're in the zone. Uh, sometimes we say things that we don't really mean, right? Say things that uh, even though we don't even comprehend because our mind is immersed, as she said, and, and focused on the game. So if she says, I'm gonna buy a $100,000 diamond or something like that, you'll be like, oh yeah, yeah, go, go for it. You know? I you know. Just, and I sometimes she's done that. I should have tried that but you don't have a hundred thousand dollars in <laughs> Yeah, back then. Yeah, yeah but no, anyway. You didn't even have yeah. that much then, but... Um, <laughs> I remember that one big fight. It was a very big fight. I remember telling you exactly, like, gave you a piece of my mind. Yeah, you actually literally left. I you left. You, you left. I left, and I remember you called me. I don't know if you realized that I really left, because our roommate tried to stop me. He's like, where are you going? Oh, I'm just going to walk around. You're going to walk around with your clothes. <laughs> I really wanted to leave big time. Yeah, yeah. And then I remember you called me. I was already in a taxi. I was in a cab. This is sad because I can't remember. Because oh. it, it happened a couple times. I'm not gonna say a lot of times, but a couple of times. No, but because like, that's the only time that I pretty much like. Ah. No, no. There was one because he. I remember is the one that that I went out of on the door. The door. We were shouting at each other, and I just told her to come back inside and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I think that was the time where we sat down and I said, just give me a moment to, to think. But I remember the actual time where. I made a decision. I came up with an executive decision on when I can actually play because my schedule back then, my ga gaming schedule back then was uh, showtime and just game train and then game and then spend no, sometimes maybe a little you won't time. even sometimes you won't even work out. I remember yeah. you'd work out in the mor morning or sometimes you won't. You would just come home and then it's just so convenient because two of our roommates are like, oh, let's go play. Let's go They're play. They're gamers as well. They're gamers. And so, so guys, yeah, that was it. don't have roommates when you're actually in the couple's stage yeah it's, it's tough. tough it's really really tough if you can get out <laughs> so, and, and especially it's tough for the girl and, and, it is i mean i was you know, i felt sorry for her and that's why we made a man and our men's was uh my schedule from seven days a week uh gaming to three days a week long what are those days you uh, should share that with them. it is t t h s yeah. Was the only days I could play. Uh, so anytime after showtime, I can just go straight to the computer and play. She has her own schedule. She can do whatever she wants. Which is actually a smart thing to yes. do. That way because I can we move know. on and you do can, my things. You can do right? your own thing. I cannot I, expect that time you can make, from you. You can make plans with your girls or do your makeup or exactly, whatever the girls yeah. love doing. On MWFS, it's all Rona's time, especially Sunday. That's the Lord's time. We would do our best to go to church and prioritize our relationship with God on Sundays especially. Uh, but we did uh, do our prayers together which helped rectify our relationship and finally in my the first time in my entire lifetime was that I actually made a deal with someone about my gaming schedule exactly. and I'll never ever do that I remember but, Eric was telling me that the next was like would <laughs> what? would go to the what station 168 to pick you up or and then he, uh, he yeah. can't find you I remember the like your ex was like throwing your clothes like don't ever do that something no, like that no she, she brought my suitcase to, to the computer <laughs> shop 
But yeah. Is that how you knew you love me? Because you were willing to compromise yes. your game? No, that, that's how I knew. That you meant a lot to me. I meant a lot. You meant a lot and you mean a lot even oh. more, you know. Wow. Through to the eternities right now. Pero <laughs> ibang kwento yan. But prior to that. So let's go back to okay. that. The deal that we made. So the deal was you we play TTHS only. Tuesday, Thursday, Saturdays. Yes. And then you can only play until midnight. Remember that? Yes, until midnight. Because yep. you used to play one to sawa. Like uh, until yeah, 3, until like 2, 5, two, three. Until Not 5. To around 3 a.m. 2, 2 a.m. 1, 2 a.m. Yeah. Yeah, now that's good. It was uh even made a curfew as well. So for my gaming, which was 12 p.m. Oh, and not only that, I remember we made a deal as well that on the days that let's say it's my okay, day. So it's an MWF. And the day. MWFS day, I'm out of the house because I do have work. Oh, you know, if I have work or something to do, that he can play as long as I'm not in the house. And then when I get back, he only has 10 minutes to wrap it up. If he didn't wrap up, in I know 10 which story minutes, you're trying to get to. <laughs> She's excited to share the story. If he did didn't wrap up in 10 minutes he would have to pay up 1000 pesos and shut the game down asap i remember that deal and i remember you had to pay up a thousand couple thousand yeah a couple yeah. thousand before until <laughs> I think that was the last time. I, I was remember, playing Dota downstairs. He was playing Dota downstairs. So, oh, wow. And I was like, Eric, it's 10 minutes. More than 10 minutes. And I was already getting really, really mad. I was so pissed off, guys. And then Eric's like, no, no, no. I'm still playing. Whatever, whatever. Like, because I think he was losing. So he's trying to make up for it. And y'all know what I did. I went petty. I went petty on the eruption. <laughs> it's like, uh, uh, you won't finish this game, huh? Okay. Okay. I unplugged the freaking Wi-Fi connection. I, how did you feel? We were instead for a an epic comeback, but she pulled the, and this was uh, Dota Days. So Dota Days, the games are super duper long. We were making a comeback. I was, I think I was using Juggernaut <laughs> and man, I was killing everybody, getting some God likes and stuff. And the next thing you know, she pulled it. But you know what? I was supposed to get angry. I, I, I was, I was supposed to get angry, but I didn't for some reason. Because you knew you were I knew wrong. I knew I was wrong. I knew I was wrong so i had the choice to go straight up back upstairs and just give it to her you know but i had no right because she was in you know she was in the right i was in the wrong so sometimes deal. men we we, we got to know our place when it comes to like de deals deal. and schedules did receive amounts of 1000 pesos and she, i remember and, you went and, up she's like what did you do i'm like you know exactly what i, I did know. i was kind of i was really soft because i have no right to get angry but yes that's a story i will never forget she will never forget she she obviously loves sharing it i love it i was like ah. Uh, I unplugged the Wi-Fi. But yeah. Uh, so yeah, ladies or, you know, whoever is the receiving end of the that gamer thing in a relationship, you can always unplug the Wi-Fi. <laughs> but hey, he's gotten smarter because, yeah, you've gotten smarter. What? what Eric will do, okay. So this when he will, back no, 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 back in the day, you've gotten smarter. What he will do is that, let's say I'm at work and I thought, or like, I'm out, right? I, I thought know he what was, he's trying to say. <laughs> I thought he was being so... <laughs> Like, oh, where are you? What are you doing? <laughs> hey, and then I still like, realized what he's strapped. What time will you be? <laughs> And then I just I thought oh he's being sweet and I'm like wait a minute I've noticed that every time I'm out he would always ask where I'm at what time will I be home or what am I doing it took you a while to notice <laughs> probably took her like a year <laughs> because he wanted to know if he can go in one more game <laughs> smart huh <laughs> but then yeah she she discovered it because it became regular oh, you know man, but I man thought I, it happened a year a year of a hey, year I was of... honest I was just like how, how are you doing you know like... just checking up on you just 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 <laughs> no, just touching base guys yeah no, yeah you talking base, honest, literally. you're being sneaky conniving no but hey no that's, that's, that's nothing, nothing wrong with that gentlemen it did, it did work cared. for a very very long time yeah and you would um, play that's why i said you've gotten smarter because you would text me like oh what were you doing next minute so i know when she's coming home things changed right yeah it did change i remember no no the first one i remember eric taking me to the manila majors that was the first one he took me because a, a good friend of ours ah, yes rest in peace um took us to the manila majors and that's the first time that we got to meet team og and that was the introduction and that's why eric became you know really closer good friends with with that team i remember then like when we went to that moa arena that that place was not jam-packed no it was jam-packed
during the Dota competition, the Manila Majors, then when LeBron was there, it wasn't like, it wasn't that packed. I'm like, okay, yeah. wait a minute, something's different. And I remember like seeing the light. I didn't even know what was going on. Like whose team, who's who. Anyways, I didn't understand a thing. And I remember seeing these like young kids, like they're, they're a team and I would ask, and then they, they would have like groupies or like fans following them. And I'm like, who are these, sorry to use the word nerds, but like they look like, you know, like my cousin. And then they're being followed by all these people and I didn't know who they were. And I was like, Eric, is this per person famous or whatever, whatever, I remember asking him that. So that just kind of like opened the doors just a tad bit until I remember that you had to p play the League of Legends charities show match. Yeah, yeah. Celebrity oh, show match. Ram Rampage. For Rampage. And I remember Eric asking me, he, they knew that he was a Dota player. And so they said League of Legends is somehow the same, you know, but Eric has never played Rampage. So he asked me and, you know, he's like, never played this game. I don't want to look like a, you know, a loser. <laughs> and he only had two weeks to prepare for that specific event. For two that beautiful event. week. Yeah. So I had to let him because I, because the rules were, were not in place. I okayed. I said, okay, fine. You can play whatever. every day, every day for as long as you need, just so that you don't look like a fool. You don't make a fool out of yourself on that charity game. I remember when I went there, ah, uh, it was really electrifying. It was interesting how all these people would line up. I remember it was like the line was like miles and miles. And then when Eric was playing, they were like, oh, eruption, eruption. And I didn't understand what was going on. <laughs> I had no clue. But from your point of view, please share, because I don't want to talk about I was about like, oh, he's actually experience. pretty good at this. When he started getting paid and invited and, you know, hosting and also playing for games. And then I'm like, okay, so this is something that he's very good at. It's not like, oh, he's just, you're you know, just a claiming yeah. to be a gamer. Woo! But he's actually pretty good at it. And aside from being an athlete, he's also an esports athlete now. And that's what changed it for me. I was like, oh, okay. So he's not just playing for fun. There's a competitive twist to it for Eric. That's why I'm like, okay, this is really something that he can hone in and capitalize on. And so I allowed it. So basically uh, the home run message there is that- <laughs> That you're good? No. Whatever. Is that when I started making money by playing games, <laughs> exactly. that's when she said, okay, do whatever you need to do to get yourself better. Yeah. yeah who, so who, who wouldn't want that? Who wouldn't allow that for you to, you know, be able to do what you love doing and get paid? I didn't want to stand in that way. Plus you're getting paid. Hello. Yep. And that started in 20, started in like 2015, 2016, when I started doing those hosting gigs and everything. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was. And the, the, the tournaments. So if I wasn't part of the, the show match or for any game, I'm either the host or I'm a part of it or I'm I invite a guest. It was amazing because this rolls on to our next part of the, the topic, which I am just going to just throw it out there. Remember, there must be a balance in all things. Okay. How do you balance it? And how, yeah. I you you know. know what? I think when when it, when things became strict in the start of our relationship, like I can only play it a certain amount of times. When you apprehend someone, that person wants to go get out. But once that person is out and liberated, he tends to not keep it to himself, or he what tends are you to not do. About? He tends to not do or perform that thing that he likes doing often, which is gaming, right? Right. So when you kind of let me off the hook, it's not like I wanted to play games all the time anymore. Yeah. Especially, <laughs> I wanted to spend more time with Wait, you and and let and, and, and live yeah. life but yeah what i wanted to talk about was um because of esports and coming into now nowadays in the last what three years or so be, i became a streamer but i was doing it was one year 2017 and 18 where i was banking i swear i was banking a lot from esports i was hosting at world trade center mo arena online events sm edsa all the big establishments or even all the big arenas i was hosting there and i was making a lot of money and rona allowed me to play games our our schedule with gaming she became a, a lot more lenient and said okay i understand that you're you, you're probably stressed from all this the, the workload because i had i had to balance showtime on top of it oh, well no, when i went no. when i was gone from showtime sorry i had yeah. to balance taping yeah i started taping again Remember for tv Pagani series and la luna sangre and all that sort of stuff so sometimes i want to come home and you know kick back and relax but we were able to save a lot of money for a procedure which was very very expensive called ivf yeah we can we'll go on another episode regarding that yes but yeah yes. we were able to save them up save up money basically have legend because of esports yes that's what it is and that was a testimony to both of us just not me this time rona believed in the skill that uh 
of me as being a gamer yeah. and then now being a streamer. Ever since, I, I guess, ever since I started or, or became a streamer, I knew that I invested so much time and effort into my gaming world. Now that it's my job, I love it and I still do love it. But after that, I felt like, hey, When it becomes a job, yeah, like it yeah. becomes work, sometimes you do, you're the one that would crave time for your family. Yes, I'm a father now. Yeah. I think when when I when I did become a father, my eyes were opened to the world and Changed. open to reality, open to being more patient, to be more considerate. Life isn't just about me or Rona, it's about our son. And you know, we got someone else there that, you know, breathing the air of life, <laughs> the same as us, right? And I realized that I didn't play games off, but I, I did. I didn't lose that, that passion of gaming all the time, I mean, but I just balanced it. Yeah, you did. For you, what is balancing? How would you balance okay. Um, I made sure that I put up a schedule, my daily routine. Schedule is so my important. schedule, yes, schedule is the most important. Because if you don't have a plan or a schedule, guys, you're going to falter in whatever you're trying to pursue. Okay, whether it's work or health goals, academics, you know, education, goals online, or what do you have to do or accomplish duties of life. I made the schedule that, okay, get my butt out of bed, say your prayers, do your bathing, you have to do to clean yourself, train, eat, work family time and that was it that was basically my schedule uh and is my schedule for the next for, for the last three years since and i became so, a streamer yeah. and it's still and remember it, it comes down to your mindset as well so you got to make sure that you have instill something in your mind and i remember you know what this goes to show a big streamer right now i'm not going to sh uh, share his name but he told me and i saw it he actually even posted it back a few years back he said i was inspired by eruption and becoming a streamer because of his mindset and he said cdh and I, just a couple days ago he he, he threw that down. CDH? CDH. Remember, naalala ko yung sinasabi ni Eruption na CDH. So what is CDH? And when he said that to me, I, I didn't know. Even I forgot. <laughs> I told him, what is it to me CDH? And then when he said it straight off, commitment. Dedication. De hard work. Discipline. Oh, discipline. Because you know, for instance, if you're on a, an eating a diet, you gotta tell yourself, I cannot eat this, the, the fatty foods. I cannot eat the, the chocolate. I cannot eat whatever food. You gotta stay and remain disciplined. All right? You gotta be committed to the goal stay disciplined and always put in the hard work so that's the h but i would call it cc ccdh instead of cdh like CCD, because CCD, consistency CCD. all right ah. you gotta make it a routine right you so you've make upgraded it it's the eruption 2.0 with it's, it's instead of cdh it's gonna be CCDH, ccdh all right <laughs> that con consistency all right and when you have that type of mindset and mind control you're able you have the ability to control your passions and things that you like love in life Okay. that you learn to balance it. So in, in our schedule is try to put in the time to pray together, read, read scriptures yeah. together, play time with legend, eat healthier food. So would you say like you playing for work, especially that you have to stream the stream it, that's enough game time for you? Yes and no. Yeah. Yes, yes, because in regards to a family. So if I was single, I'll probably still play a lot more. But now that I'm a family man, actually both of us, we have a lot of work. We have yeah. businesses, online businesses, things to take care of, you know in their aspects of life i think growing up as an adult even as a been a wife and as a father and mother we've learned how to balance even more yeah Step and i balancing. guess on my end i've learned to accept it and live let, not just live with it but the great things there's a lot of opportunities that this generation has changed compared to what it was before like oh what are you gonna uh, get when playing video because games? of the pandemic as well not only well the pandemic but not only that like you know now that there's nfts and like play to earn oh uh, the crypto side the of things yes 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 things but i'm just saying like back then back in our days when you were playing your nintendo 64 or whatever it was different our parents or the elders would tell you what are you you're not gonna get far in life if you just focus yourself on gaming mm. that's it times have changed it has it evolved is. and so we're yeah. embraced it in our family openly and for me i see that my husband as long as he's making the effort to make time for family and prioritize us because for me in my mindset oh he's doing this for us because I have seen that there are times that you would get burnt out, right? From playing. And, and thank you for being there for me. But let's let's talk about conclusion from a single perspective or from a kid's perspective. Like okay. there's parents, right? For you, for you kids out there, I know that some of you guys have the ambition and goal to become a professional player or to be a streamer and everything like that, but you guys are still young. So make sure that you guys, it's important for you guys to learn to balance at a young age as well. And if you can get that done at a young age, trust me, you'll be more successful in life. And I promise you that. Make sure that 
when you guys get up in the morning, you guys have your own schedules, do the same thing. Remember, listen to your parents, whatever they, they set out for you to do during the day. Make sure you do them first, get that done, get your homework done if, if needful. Make sure that you have time to do the other duties of life as a kid, right? I would say finish school. For me, that's my tip. I mean, for individuals or young kids right now that are aspiring, I know that it might sound like, well, I'm gonna make so much money anyway, but again, there's always gonna be someone better. Mm -hmm. There's always something new that will come up and you want to be able to back it up with something. You don't want to be just True. a gamer. You're right. You're right. I'm though. just saying like, oh, and knowing that the gaming industry, it shifts very quickly and the younger you are, the better. But obviously you're going to get old and in any industry, but you always have to have a backup plan. You always should arm yourself with as many knowledge, as many tools as you can so that you're not just stuck in one profession. Knowledge is power. Exactly. So you know how when people say, oh, but that will, you know, why would I even go to school? I'm going to make so much money from gaming. But what if, you know, things shift? What do you have to offer? Just gaming? And for the girlfriends, be supportive. And again, as long as your partner is making an effort and you can see it, you should also try to compromise and make an effort. I was willing to adjust. He was willing and, to adjust. And, uh, and you if were able... he's not, leave if you can't join him. Or... What? Oh, you just said it. If you can't beat him, join him. Yeah. So she, she ended up joining me. So she plays Mobile Legends yeah. with me now. I mean, I'm not the pro at it. Just no, do she's... it. Not all, not all games. I'm not a gamer. So you can't really force us to play, you know? And girlfriends, you know this. You would try to do everything sometimes to, do, to impress your partner. You would do that. So you would take on hobbies or even listen to music that you don't particularly listen to or like, but you tend to learn to like it because of your partner. What's your message? That's your message? Yeah, no, just what I said, right? Uh, listen to your parents for the kids, but don't listen to the naysayers. But there are some parents, you know, that don't believe in their children. Yeah. And, and that's tough. So it's that's that's on your own. Keep praying when it comes to those situations and like that, them. and show them that you that you're good. Show them your rank. Show them what you're capable of. And you never know the parents might just turn right. Yeah. Don't listen to those people that don't believe in you or that trash talk you online because it's everywhere. Make sure you do you. All right. Yep. And Ron, that's one of Ronan's you favorite you. sayings. Just Boo. do you. Believe in you because that's the most important. Is what you care about and what you can bring to the table and what you are most passionate about and. What what you love in life. Wow, that's deep. All right, that is very deep. From and so, eruption. <laughs> <laughs> so there you have it. Do you have anything else to say, my lord? Yeah, actually. Okay. Just wanted to remind everybody that the Mr. and Mrs. Eruption Show is a member of the Rumble Royale Podcast Network. And, you know, guys, do what you love to do, but make sure to learn how to balance it, okay? That's the only thing that I have to say. And if that person is important to you, let's say your partner, then make it work. Make it work. If you really care about the person. Yeah. And, and, and in that case, if you really love the person. So now you love me. Hey. Oh. I, I, that uh, that alarm clock is uh, telling us to, you know, that's our, our timer right there. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for jo joining us today. We've had a, a splendid time doing this podcast for you guys. This is number two. Episode two. And, you know, continue to stay tuned. We're always going to come up with Share something Share it, fun. like it, you know. Share it, like it, follow, Story. subscribe, whatever you like. Yeah. Click the notification button. <laughs> that's right. And we thank you all for all supporting us. Much love. Mwah. See you later. Six, six, five, four, three, two.